Hey everybody, it's Susan Cook and I just thought I'd come online and um, do a quick video on how to do a landing page that I did yesterday. So let's get started. So I'm really, really excited about this particular landing page. It did create quite a few leads for me yesterday. Um, and I'll just show it to you really quickly here. So I took this beam from our workplace and used it to make this landing page. So let me show you how to do it really, really quickly. First thing you're going to want to do is make your squeeze page that's going to go into the landing page. And I wanted this to be new construction in the county that I live in. As you see right here, it's free list of new construction in Loudoun County. So I went to my squeeze links and I wanted to make a multi-property squeeze links. The first place you're going to go is to lead engine right over here and you're going to um, put in your criteria. And so the area that I wanted was Loudoun County and listing type. We have several um, new construction around here. So I'm going to put single family, townhouse, and condos because a condo around here can go anywhere from the high threes to 600 or, or above. So I'm not going to turn down any of those kinds of sales, especially new construction because guess who does all the work on the, um, on the contract, the builder. So it can be a very lucrative business for you to get into. All right, and then when you get down here to options, and I'm not gonna put bedrooms or price or anything on there because I wanna capture all of the brand new construction. Um, and so on here, they have newly built. So I'm gonna put that there. Hashtag is going to be Loudon or new construction, Facebook new build loco, which is Loudon County. All right, so I want it to hashtag that so that I can sort my leads when I get into my CRM part here. Um, if I see a listing that's very, very, uh, um, that's been dropped in price or they, the builder has some incentives or something, I can do a mass text by using these hashtags and hashtagging um, the leads that come in. All right, and then that's it. Um, the Facebook cover, it's already checked. Um, use the the uh, the code for the uh, or the a picture of what is generated from the listings, and always be sure to check your um, code, your your link, and make sure that it actually does work. Let's let that come up, and it does work, and listings are on there. Isn't that great? Yes. Yes, we like that. Okay, so then uh, once you have that done, and always be sure to have a notepad or um, Word document or a Google Sheet. I like Google Sheets because it looks like an Excel spreadsheet and it's in anything that I use, any computer. I can always pull this up simply from my Gmail account. So you're gonna to wanna to save these links here. And as you can see, I do a lot of uh, Facebook advertising and then making of squeeze links and I don't wanna to have to do it over again. So I have already saved it right here. And then you go to the landing page part of this. Again, you're gonna go right here to your lead engine. You're gonna choose your domain and start building and it will come up with this page right here. Here you've got a lot of choices and I wanted to use that meme. So um, I am going to choose lead generation here for the landing type and the submit button, which changes this information right here. Yes, please. Send me the list. And once I go there, you see it has changed it right here. 
always remember when you're making a landing page to go from this way and then down. Don't jump around to this part right here because you will lose all your information up here. The URL that we're going to use is that squeeze link. So we're going to paste that in right here. And our hashtag is going to be, I've already got one in my um, squeeze link, so I don't think I really need to do it here, but you can, you can um, have it there as well. New construction. loco and the background so here's where a lot of people and the reason i wanted to do this video are having a little bit of trouble i like these backgrounds here you can do a map like that you can do the lady which was on there before exterior of the house which that kind of looks pretty cool you know or any of these other ones without any trouble, trouble at all. But I wanted the one that um, said EXP on it and it had, you know, Santa for a deal, you know, the, the meme that I got there. So once you do custom background, it's gonna ask you for a URL for the background image. And the way to create that is by going to, imgur.com uploading your link uploading your picture I believe this one is it yes once you do that, you see it makes a it makes a link right here. So then what you do is copy, go to a new browser, paste that in there. Hmm. Right click on here, open link in new window. And you see this, this link right here has JPEG at the end of it. That is the link that you're going to need. That's the little bit of a hack there that's going to help you get your, um, your URL for your landing page. So go back to your landing page. I'm having trouble seeing it. And then go back to here, custom background, paste that in there, and boom. There is your background. It's that simple. Um, it, all right, and I didn't want that. I've already got EXP Realty in the meme right there so i don't need that um for for a uh, new or i think you know i wanted it to go down a little bit farther want santa santa to bring you a new house for christmas And I didn't need this, didn't need this, didn't need this, didn't need this. Free list of new construction in Loudoun County. And there you go. So that is, it's that easy. It doesn't have to be rocket science. And then once you do that, you hit save. And it's going to have this pop up that to say, you are not going to be able to save or edit this page once you hit OK. Hit OK. 
and there is your page with all of your links here where you can save it, Facebook, um, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and all of that. That's it in a nutshell. Take care.